it is officially sauna season based on this graph from Google showing you guys all start searching for saunas around this time of the year. So I wanted to give you some helpful tips on what to do, what not to do, and how to get the most out of your sauna. We know by now how good sauna is for your overall health, so let's make the most of it. And yeah, this is a pretty terrible microphone, but it's cheap and the only one I'm willing to bring in here. So let's cut to the voiceover with the better mic and the B-roll. Well, that's much better. One thing that will definitely happen in a sauna is you will get very sweaty because it's very hot and that's the whole point. So do bring a towel with you to help manage some of that sweat. It's important to experiment with temperature at first. This is my ideal temp. There are lots of different thoughts about temperature and I think around 160 degrees is considered the therapeutic range, but experiment with what works for you. If it's too hot, you'll hate it and you won't go in. If it's too cool, you won't like it. So you have to do a little experimentation. So here's a very easy don't. Don't pay too much for your sauna. I'm sure you're wondering what this one is I'm in right now. And if you've been following the channel for a long time, you know that I got this tent from Sweat Tent. And side note, if you've not been following this channel for a long time, why not smash the subscribe button? I'd really appreciate it. But you can see right here, or maybe you can't because the lighting's bad, it says Sweat Tent right here. Sweat tent saunas are a fraction of the cost of normal at-home saunas. It's super easy to use. It's a lot of fun to start a fire in there and it gets super, super hot as I've already showed you. So if you want to get a sauna, you don't want to pay a ton of money for it and you want to get an extra $100 off your order at sweattent.com, use the code Justin, check them out. I will put the link in the description as well, but this is the best way to do it. Get yourself a home sauna and don't spend a ton of money on one. Contrary to popular belief, the point of the sauna is not to dehydrate yourself, unless of course you're cutting weight for a fight, in which case, you know, sweat it all out. But if you're not doing that, you want to enjoy your time in the sauna and it's important to stay hydrated, so do bring with you something to drink. There's no sense in passing out in there. I think it's important to follow a protocol, just like you would follow a protocol for a workout. You wanna have some structure. I used to just go in the sauna and just try to stay in as long as I could and that wasn't super enjoyable. Now I go in for 20 minutes, Minutes, I come out and I take a break for a few minutes and I go back in for another 20. I know that some influencers will push protocols that they claim do certain different things and I'm skeptical about those claims but following a protocol definitely helps when you have a structure and you know how long you're going to be in and how long you're going to be out. In addition to following a protocol, I think it's important to have like a set schedule. When I drop my kids off at school in the morning, I have like an hour to kill between drop off and the start of work for that day. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are sauna days. I come home, I pull out the sauna, fire it up, and I do like a 45 minute sauna session. It's a great way for me to start the day. I feel really good throughout the day having done it, but it's also scheduled. I know on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays I'm doing it and that schedule really helps me stick to it. Don't bring distractions into the sauna with you. Don't bring in books, don't listen to music, don't listen to podcast. I know that's what some people like and if you do then I guess that's fine but I don't like those things. I like to just go in with my thoughts. It's very meditative and I actually had the idea for this video when I was in there and it just popped into my head while I was thinking about videos. So there you go. No distractions. I made a mistake in filming this video that's a don't and that's don't overdo it. I spent too much time in here trying to talk and get my points out that I think I'm overheated and I don't know why I'm still recording here. I should just get out and talk about this part, but don't overdo it at first, especially if you're just getting started don't overdo it. So there's this thing called a sauna hat. That's what I'm putting on right now. It looks pretty cool, I think. And a sauna hat is great because it keeps some of the heat off your head and off your face. So it makes it more tolerable and you can stay in there for longer. Plus, if you order your sauna from Sweat Tent, they send you one for free. Another bonus. I wasn't sure whether to do this part with the hat on or the hat off, but I like the hat. I'm going to leave it on. I hope this video helped you in your sauna journey. And if you haven't started your sauna journey, check out sweattent.com and use the code Justin to get $100 off. But the sauna is so good for your body it's so good for your overall health and potentially your brain too and i definitely think it makes me a better athlete it makes me better at jujitsu which is why i made this video because i want you to be better at those things too so i appreciate you watching subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch you in the next one